I love to photograph everyday women. My role as a photographer is not to capture beauty, but to reveal it. Every woman who has ever come to me is beautiful. Although not all of them were aware of it. We live in a social world and how we believe others see us is often how we see ourselves. Our self-perception drives our actions. So how we feel we appear to others is enormously important to our lives. I started modeling and my career started in Kyrgyzstan. When I started modeling, I didn't think of it as a career. I wasn't the modeling type. Quite the contrary, I was a tomboy. More than a tomboy, I was a troublemaker. <laughs> my first kindergarten wouldn't even allow me to return without the, ad, the an, sorry, <laughs> an adult relative to supervise me at all times. <laughs> it's not that I was bad, it's that I was different than everybody else. I was strong-willed and confident. I stood up to the bullies in defense of the weak. In Kyrgyzstan, those are not feminine values. <laughs> it was important to my parents that I become feminine. So they tricked me to go into the finishing school. Finishing school. <laughs> oh, at the finishing school, I learned how to walk like a lady. <laughs> Not like a judo practitioner. <laughs> I learned how to dress, how to put makeup for various occasions. <laughs> ah, that was hard. <laughs> it was a three month training program in the feminine social role, a role I have been found deficient in. <laughs> It was a school not for the young and beautiful. People of all ages and backgrounds were attended. Finishing school had more impact on me than my parents expected or wanted. I wanted to go to design school and become fashion designer. But my parents didn't believe that fashion was a legitimate career path. They want me to study economics or law. So I did. I started designing on the side while studying business. By the time I finished my degree, I had my own model agency and a, fa and a finishing school and was a successful fashion designer. Beauty, I lived with it, I breathed it, that's what I did. In Kyrgyzstan, women are expected to cultivate their beauty. At the same time, beauty is seen as dangerous. It is coveted, then discarded. It is desired and detested. Whether you are seen as beautiful affects every social interaction. And growing up can be difficult to understand why people treat you as they do. Women and men, or any child, basically people. In Kyrgyzstan, you are defined by your beauty. I learned that it doesn't matter who you are in this world, what matters how people see you. I used the finishing school as an opportunity to take advantage, to take a control of that image. In America, I discovered the freedom to neglect my appearance, but that freedom has one sin. <laughs> In this country, we tell people, beauty is only skin deep. We tell them not to judge book by its cover, and we decry the way our media focuses on appearance. We are told that beauty doesn't define you. At the same time, we inundate ourselves with images of impossible and unattainable beauty. We have to walk a fine line 
between paying too much attention to our appearance and paying too little. The two messages that beauty doesn't define you and is unattainable and that you shouldn't pay attention to it seems to be at odds. They both conspire to give us the message that we can never be truly beautiful. And we forgot to tell women and men the most important, that they already are beautiful. Where is the beauty? We learn that it's defined by the symmetry of the face, the size of the eyes, the height of the cheekbones, the smoothness of your skin, almost enough to be perfect. I see different beauties in people. We all see and are attracted to some kind of beauty. And we forget to appreciate how each person has a unique beauty. Beauties can be simple, classic, dark, wild, young, powerful, provocative, and you name it. <laughs> we can combine all this type of beauty together and mismatch. And it's amazing. We, and some of us don't see how we are beautiful and look around for some other kind of beauty. I become a photographer because I see your beauty, even if you don't. And I want to show it to you. This is you, and you are incredible. You're one of a kind. You're so beautiful, unique. My favorite thing is to create something unique, beautiful, of you, for you, with my creative team. Like my makeup artists and hairdressers. When I put team together, creativity is important, but their perceptiveness is most important. I seek people who like me, can see your beauty and are driven to reveal it. When I stylize my photo shoots, I sketch what I see for this particular person on a piece of paper. In photo shoots, clients can see right away what we are creating. And when those images come up on a screen, clients are totally surprised. And some of them ask, do I really look this way? Yes, you do. Some of them start to cry. Some of my clients, after a session or at the preview, tell me that I make them feel beautiful, and I make them beautiful. But I disagree. I don't make you beautiful. All women and men are beautiful. And we deserve, and we all deserve to feel this way and be loved. When I see you in person, I have a three-dimensional image of you in my head. The camera distorts because its images are still and two-dimensional. In person, I see texture, contours, movement, posture, body language. The light falls on your face the thousand ways with every turn. Pictures and all this combine the image of you. Every photograph is just a thin slice of your appearance. Turn from the moment, flattened and rubbed of texture. For these reasons, the before image can be a bigger lie than after. The camera is not a perfect like a human eye. 
The before image is what the camera sees. And the after image, what she really looks like when we meet her. You think every photographer uses the same tool, but with different creative vision. My vision is not create unattainable or impossible beauty. I'm interested in revealing real beauty. I find that I want you to discover your own beauty, something you can harness every day. If you think that Photoshop is cheating, then you need to rethink the value of paintings. I don't use Photoshop to make you beautiful. I use Photoshop to show you that you already are beautiful. The only question is if you feel beautiful. I find your beauty because I take the time to see you. In my studio, our makeup that exposes the natural beauty of your contours. The closing opens you up. The hair makes you feel sexy, seductive, desirable. When you feel pampered, you summon your own beauty. When I edit your images, I don't create any new beauty. I draw your eye to the beauty that it's already there. If I succeed, you recognize yourself in my images. Then you recognize the beauty I have shown you. Next time you look at yourself in the mirror. There is a difference between glamour and beauty. Beauty is the deeper thing that comes alive when you truly see each other. As a photographer, I'm training your eyes to see the beauty around you. And it's all around. Look around. Thank you. <laughs>